amidst all the differences, there's so much partisanship that happens in government. And uh, although we were excited to find out that there's 13 women representing us here in the, <laughs> in the state of Colorado, but how, how do you how do you do that? And here's a genuine man that's worked so hard to be where he's at. And we he spoke to it's his experiences that he's had, the accomplishments that he's made, that he he truly gets the benefit of the doubt. So how that all um, transfers down to all of us the need for experiences to have success and accomplishments. So you are given the benefit of the doubt when you're in a community setting and you're, you're trying to transform something. That there is clearly fundamental disagreements going on in this country. And what happens is lots of talk, too much talk about policy, too much talk with big words that a lot of people don't understand. So we discussed that what we need is honest conversation, we need real communication, and that that means a lot less talking and a lot more listening. And that's something that we all in this room you know, can, can do daily. Talk about educating the, the average person, what that looks like. We have the opportunity to sit here with these three people and have fantastic conversations. But the average person, what does that look like? How does that actually generate votes? How does that make change? Uh, we, like you guys, ask a lot of questions. We don't have answers. How does it happen? I don't know. Um, and how do you carry on? Strolling. I mean, how do you, you go through this whole thing and you fight for this proposition and it fails? Then, you know, what, what do we do next? Um, we persevere. We agree that timing is everything. You have that conversation. Is this the kind of state that you want to live in? We discussed the book, The Tipping Point. It's not something that I've read, but some um, people in our group have. That, and he, I don't know who else has read it in the room, but when, you know, when Crocs become the thing, when everybody has Crocs. What is that tipping point? Why does everybody have it? Um, so when does everybody believe that transformational leadership is going to make the difference? What is that tipping point? And uh, Elsa brought up that it's the small things that make the difference. You just persevere and you just keep going because um, eventually it tips. What is our role in this? Besides meeting once a month? <laughs> um, we have to get back to basics. Lenny brought up the small groups that we're part of, different task forces or coalitions, uh, that we are kind of the hands and feet that are in touch with the community. So we need to be out there having those conversations. We need to utilize our own networks um, and make change and transformation before the conversation. Raleigh, you were saying he um, <coughs> welcomes shadowing him, where you can go down and you can sit on the floor and you can shadow him. Although from May to December is when he's really available, so get him up then and, and get him involved in those hands and feet meetings when we're there talking with the community, um, the, the ones that you know are really really seeking the change. So we need to get involved. We need to listen more, which I said earlier, and we need to find a point of connection. There's so much to disagree about, but we need to focus and start with what we truly agree about and start here. We agree.